Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me for story time today. Hey, maybe you can tell from my dress I'm going to do a story time about food, our favorite thing, right? So we better get started because we might get too hungry if we wait too long. We are starting story time, do da, do da. We are starting story time, oh, do da day. Let's all shout hooray. It's a library day. We are starting story time, oh, do da day. Great. Let's put our hands up high. Put your hands up high. Put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your elbows in the front. Put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. <gasps> what? Did you turn into a duck? That is the silliest song. I love it so much. Let's sing it again. Put your hands up high. Put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your elbows in the front. Put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Uh, it happened again. You turned into a duck. So, I want to tell you a story on my apron. Now, to do this, I have to push my chair back and I'm going to stand up. So, hopefully you can still see most of me. But if you can't, you know... If part of my head is cut off, that's okay. Because really, you just need to see this part of me. Because that's where I'm going to tell a story. This is a story that has a lot of food in it. And it's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. By the light of the moon, a tiny egg lay on a leaf. One warm Sunday morning, the warm sun shone down on the leaf and pop, the egg came open. And out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Now he decided he was gonna go look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two Pears. One, two, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four. Oh, these are delicious. Strawberries. One, two, three, four, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, and one more makes was still hungry. On Saturday, you're not going to believe all the things he ate through on Saturday. Let me show you. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one dill pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, you know what? He had a stomach ache. <gasps> uh oh, I'm sorry, he fell off. Let me get him. The next day, it was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. He wasn't hungry anymore, but he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a great, big, fat, enormous caterpillar. Now, he 
spun a hat around himself called a cocoon and he looked like this. And he stayed in there for about three weeks. And at the end of that time, he bit a little hole and he pushed and he pushed and he pushed and he pushed and he came out and he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Did you like that one? I hope so. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to put my apron down over here. And I'm going to move my chair up a little bit so you can still see me. Hi, because now I'm going to sit down. I'm not going to stand up anymore. Let me get my shaker. Everyone can shake, shake, shake. Everyone can shake, shake, shake. Everyone can shake, shake, shake until we have to stop. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap until we have to stop. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap until we have to stop. Everyone can wave, wave, wave. Everyone can wave, wave, wave. Everyone can wave, wave, wave until we have to stop. Good. Let's try that one again. First, we're going to shake, shake, shake. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Wave, wave, wave. Everyone can shake, shake, shake. Everyone can shake, shake, shake. Everyone can shake, shake, shake until we have to stop. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap. Everyone can clap, clap, clap until we have to stop. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap. Everyone can tap, tap, tap until we have to stop. Everyone can wave, wave, wave. Everyone can wave, wave, wave. Everyone can wave, wave, wave until we have to stop. Very nice. Jello in the bowl, jello in the bowl. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jello in the bowl. Cookies in the tin, cookies in the tin. Shake them up, shake them up, cookies in the tin. Candles on the cake, candles on the cake. Blow them out, blow them out. Candles on the cake. Let's try that one again. Can you see that one? Jello in the bowl, jello in the bowl. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jello in the bowl. Cookies in the tin, cookies in the tin. Shake them up, shake them up. Cookies in the tin. Candles on the cake, candles on the cake. Blow them out, blow them out. Candles on the cake. Nice job. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. Along came a blackbird and nipped off her nose. Great. Do you guys think you can do that one again? So when the king is counting out his money, you can shake your shaker right into your palm like that. And when the blackbird comes along, you can shake your shaker by your nose. Don't you hit yourself in the face, though. Just like, like this, close to your nose. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house. Counting out his money, 
The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. Along came a blackbird and nipped off her nose. Here, next job. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner, eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, pulled out a thumb, said, what a good boy am I. Get that thumb ready. Let's try it one more time. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner, eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, pulled out a thumb, said, what a good boy am I. Yeah. Here's your last one. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack jumped off high. Jack jumped down low. Jack jumped over and burnt his toe. Oh, poor Jack. Let's try the other side, okay? The old toes you didn't use the first time. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack jumped up high. Jack jumped down low. Jack jumped over and burnt his toe. Poor Jack. Very nice shaking, friends. I want to read you a story that's called Groovy Joe Ice Cream and Dinosaurs. What? There's Groovy Joe. You can tell he's super groovy. Groovy Joe saw something yummy. Groovy Joe started rubbing his tummy. Groovy Joe was living the dream. He had a spoon and a tub of ice cream. And he started to sing. I love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! A little dinosaur stomped into the room. He glared at the ice cream and he took out a spoon. He put on a bib. He pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? It's awesome to share. And everybody sang. I love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no, a big dinosaur burst into the room. He glared at the ice cream and he took out a spoon. He put on a bib, he pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang. I love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! A huge dinosaur smashed into the room. She glared at the ice cream and she took out a Boom. She put on a bib. She pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang. I love my doggy ice cream. I love my doggy ice cream. Ooh, oh no. The tub was empty. The ice cream was through. So the dinosaurs glared at you-know-who. What can Joe do? He turned over the tub and made it a drum. Groovy Joe beat out a rum-tum-a-tum-tum. The dinosaurs laughed. They rose from their chairs. They started to dance. They jumped in the air. Then, what did they say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. And that's the story of Groovy Joe. Ice cream and dinosaurs. I want to 
to show you something. Oh, this is so big. And the thing I want to show you isn't that big. This is a rhyme about ice cream. Actually, I'm going to put it like that and stand next to it. So don't worry if you can't see me, can't see my face. I'm still here. I'm just going to stand next to my board so I can put this ice cream rhyme on it. First, we need a cone, nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Then we need some ice cream, sweet and yummy. Scoop them up, stack them up, up to the sky. We love ice cream, my oh my. First comes vanilla, cold and sweet. Then some chocolate, a delicious treat. Here's some strawberry. Lemon sherbet too. A super duper scooper cone just for you. One scoop, two scoop, three scoop, four. We love ice cream. Let's have some more. Add some orange sherbet and some blueberry too. Now we better eat it before it turns to goo. Yeah, we don't want all our ice cream to melt. It's not really gonna turn to goo though, because it's not real ice cream. I don't know, do you think you could eat that many scoops of ice cream? That's six scoops of ice cream. I think I got a tummy ache if I ate that much ice cream. Let's see if you can put your hand nice and flat like this. I want to teach you a song. Now, so our first, our first story was about a caterpillar. This is a song about a caterpillar. Okay, ready? It's about a little girl named Arabella Miller. So you do this to make the caterpillar legs. It kind of tickles your hand a little bit. So it's sort of, it's sort of fun at the same time. But this song about a little girl named Arabella Miller, and she had this caterpillar, and the caterpillar crawled on her mother, then crawled on her baby brother. They didn't like it, so you know what they said? They said, yuck! Can you practice that at home for me? Yuck! Try it one more time, okay? Yuck! Good, you got the yuck part down? Okay, so the second time you sing it, they're used to the caterpillar this time, and they like the caterpillar fine this time around. So this time you're gonna say, oh. Can you do that? Try it. Oh. Okay, give it another try, one more try. Good. So one more practice. The first time we're going to say what? Yuck! The second time we're going to say, oh, like that. Good. Get your hand ready. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They didn't like it, so what they say? Yuck! They said, Arabella Miller, put away your caterpillar. Oh, but then they got used to the caterpillar. So this time when you sing, you have to smile. Can you smile? Mm -hmm. Remember what you're going to say. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. But this time they like the caterpillar, okay, so what did they say? Ah. Oh. They said, Arabella Miller, how we love your caterpillar. Yeah. Very nicely done, friends. Can you put your two circles way up high? There's more smiling for this one. Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as far as I could. Down came the apples, and mmm, were they good. Okay. 
I'm not sure everybody was smiling the first time around. Well, this time you all have to smile for me, okay? You ready? Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. Right now. Good job. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples and mmm, were they good. Delicious apples. I have one more story I want to read you. It's called Never Feed a Yeti. A Yeti of all things. Never feed a Yeti spaghetti. Never feed a llama a banana. That's such a silly meal. When you just have hooves to use, that fruit is hard to peel. Yeah, llamas don't have fingers like we do. They just have hooves, so they can't peel a banana. Don't give a llama a banana. Never feed a cheetah a fajita. That snack will never last. Cheetahs gobble up their food because they are so fast. They zoom, zoom, zoom. Never feed a chimp some shrimp. They play with all their food. They throw their snacks at everyone because they're very rude. Hmm. Never feed a sloth some broth. It takes too long to heat. They're certain to be sleeping when you serve it up to eat. Yeah, because sloths sleep in the treetops all day long. Never feed a sloth some broth. Never feed a whale some kale. That snack is much too small. Whales need giant portions or they won't feel full at all. That's right. They need lots and lots to eat. Whales do. And on the back it says, Never feed a Yeti spaghetti, but read this to the end, or he'll make a spaghetti rope and catch the animal friends. Oh no, Mr. Yeti, please don't do that. Look at all these teeth. I wanted to show you that. Look at all these teeth here. That's how all the animals chew up their food, right? That's called never feed a Yeti spaghetti. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me for Story Hour today. I do hope you have a really good week. You know what week it is? This week is Children's Book Week. And here's the great thing about Children's Book Week. The way that we are celebrating is that we are having a whole week of times each day you can get a different rubber ducky. So today, Monday, if you're watching this on Monday, you can get a superhero rubber ducky because reading is a superpower. That's the theme of Children's Book Week. And you can get your picture taken by a reading a superpower poster and tomorrow is Star Wars Day. And you can get your picture taken with the child. And each day this week, there's gonna be a different rubber ducky you can collect. If you come every day this week, you can collect all the rubber duckies, all of them. But any day you come, you can get a rubber ducky. And do some fun stuff like get your picture taken and different things like that too. All right. And don't forget, you can come to story time in the Westgate Park on Tuesday morning with Miss Hannah or Thursday morning with me. And I would love to see you there. It would be so much fun. I'd love to see you. All right, friends, I hope you have a really great week.